another video sorry guys for not posting in a while if you guys are new here maybe at the end of this video or now you guys can subscribe make sure you turn on those notifications i'm my zoo you're watching the my zoo channel and yeah i hope you do go on to enjoy today's video but in today's video we are going to be making coconut hides such as this one up here and this one I made for my crusted gecko cocoa. We're not going to be making this exact tape, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a water dish out of a coconut and also just a coconut hide. Yes, coconuts do hold water. I have a coconut right here, and um, you guys can listen. There is coconut water in here, or coconut milk, whatever you call it. Uh, so coconuts do hold water. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a coconut water dish and a coconut hide. So if you want to see that, make sure you stay tuned for today's video. Now let's get into the video. So the materials you're going to need for this build are a coconut. Now you're obviously going to need the coconut to make the hideout. You're going to use the shell to make the hideout. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a drill. Now what you're going to want to do is, we'll explain the steps further, but you're going to need a drill. Then you're going to need a dremel for those precise cuts. You're going to need to use, and then you're going to need the sander attachment on the dremel, or you can just use normal sandpaper. You are also going to need a hacksaw to cut the coconut in half. Uh, to, so we can get inside to the flesh and you're gonna need a spoon just to scoop out all that coconut and Something to eat the coconut and that's it Okay guys, we are ready to start drilling. We have our drill. We have our bowl to drain the coconut in and we have our coconut <laughs> Okay, I would just like to put a bit a big warning. Do not drink out of coconuts, because if you do, this is what happens. Oh, hot. Uh, long story short, all the coconut juice I had drank ended up on the grass. Uh, I do not recommend drinking out of a coconut. Uh, I recommend, like, pouring it into a cup or something, because I got a lot of coconut husk. And that just uh, went down my throat the wrong way. Okay, right here, guys, we got the coconut. I'm papping on the coconut. It's in the strainer. Coconut water drains to the bottom, as you can clearly see. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the rest of the project tomorrow. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, and peace. Okay, guys, so in this clip, we're just uh, cutting the coconut in half with a hacksaw. I had my dad do this, um, and we just put it in the vice grip and cut it in half. Okay, guys, so we just cut the saw the coconut in half. You can see this is the coconut flesh or the meat, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is the water dish side. You can see it's, like, not as deep, but deep enough for the hermit cups to soak in. That's what I'm going to be using it for. And here's the hide, which is going to be like that. And we're going to dremel um, after we get all the meat out to like make a little entrance. But now we're going to get scooping all this coconut flesh. <laughs> Guys, so this is the water dish. We just cut it and... It's, we got all the coconut out, and what we're going to do is probably just sand this piece down so it's not so sharp. And then here we have the hide, which is still a bit of coconut, but that will dry out. And also I'm using this for my isopods. This is good for like some small animals or anything like that. Um, but we're going to just carve a little entrance into it with a drum roll. Hey guys, so now that the coconuts, the hide, uh, and the water dish are finished, here's the water dish, and here's the hide, um, are finished, I'm gonna just, like, uh, show you them in use, but really quick, I just, just wanna talk about the hide, so this hide will work for hermit crabs, obviously if they, their shell can fit in here, um, little snakes, baby leopard geckos, maybe even juvenile, maybe full grown, uh, crest geckos, because they actually do hide in the ground, so any, uh, spider, scorpion, something like that, this hide would be great for, um, maybe even a hamster, so, and this water dish is just really good for anything, it doesn't sit flat on, uh, 
loose surfaces, obviously, but it could be a food dish if you wanted to, too. But it's going to be Coco's water dish in the dirt. It's nice and shallow, so Coco, if she does get in, can escape because it, the water can only be filled up to a certain point. So, yeah, um, I'm going to show you these items in use really quick. Here's the water dish in action. I got a bit of dirt. Um, I don't actually have something to use the hide in, but I'll just show you guys what it looks like sitting on the table. Here's pretty much what the hide would look like, even in an enclosure. You got your three holes on top. Um, you don't have to put three. You just need one to drain the coconut milk up. I just put three for a nice aeration. Um, this is how the hide's gonna look. You can see it's pretty dark in there. This would work for a baby leopard gecko. Like I already said, all the stuff, but um, definitely a baby um, animal, maybe even a scorpion, tarantula, definitely hermit crabs. But you guys can see it's nice and dark in there. Um, got a bit of a gap, but this would be filled in with substrate. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's DIY project. If you did, let me know in the comment section below any other DIYs you want to see. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, drop a like. That lets me know that you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any video ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Sorry for not posting in a while. i just been busy with school and stuff like that. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, we're on our road to 300 subs, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you do your research, and I'm out. Peace.